cuanto más esperes And today I'm going to be taking you guys through kind of what I like to do to get myself out of a slump because I'm kind of going through it right now to going out, socializing, partying, just not being in my routine. I'm the type of person like I have a set routine that I follow seven days a week and if I don't do one thing it just kind of throws me off a little and if I don't do anything, any of it at all, I just kind of go down into a spiral. If you find that you are in a slump or in a depressive episode or maybe mother nature's here and you're just kind of feeling down and you don't really know how to get yourself out of it, these are the things that I personally like to do. I find that it's easiest because everybody is different and it's easiest to find what works for you so you can help yourself get out of that state Quicker. So for me, it's waking up, making sure my space is clean, working out, doing my skincare routine, going to bed early, focusing on recovery, making sure I'm up to date on work. So the past weekend, my best friend was visiting, so we went out, we were drinking. I haven't drank in two months, and I've been very consistent with my prep. Because it's been so long since I drank, and I drank so much to being drunk, the next day my body was so achy, and mind you, being somebody that works out, I'm used to muscle soreness and stuff like that, but it's a different kind of soreness, which I can't really describe, but it was not fun. And you know, when you drink, you eat food that is not good. So that on top of it, and your sleep, the biggest thing, your sleep is so bad. Every time I drink, I always wake up super early. I can never get a good amount of sleep in. I'm super dehydrated. My stomach isn't feeling well, and there's just a whole bunch of other stuff. So the first, first thing that I like to do to start the routine of getting out of a slump is cleaning my space. My space is a representation of how my brain is and what is going on. So if something is out of place, it drives me insane. Even if I want to take a day off and rest, I can't rest until my space is clean. I can't I can't relax in a dirty environment. And also I have a dog, so her hair is everywhere. I literally vacuum every day, every single morning. It's part of my routine. And I'm actually fine with it. It's not really that bad. Being from an African household, that's how what I grew up with. My auntie and my mom would always wake up 5 a.m., 6 a.m. playing African gospel music and cleaning little by little every morning and then Sunday would be the biggest like cleaning routine so I do that every single day making sure there's nothing in the sink making sure the toilet is clean there's no hair on the ground the blankets are folded my bed is made etc so clean space is the is the first thing second thing for me is working out for me working out always makes me feel better and it's I've been working out for eight years and you know a lot of people ask me how do you still find the motivation how do you still are able to work out no cheat code there's no how sneak way for you to do it. you just get up oh my god those lightning just get up and force yourself to go I know that term like forcing yourself sometimes you just have to or maybe shift your perspective and not thinking that you're forcing yourself and you're just making yourself do it for the outcome so you can look at it forcing yourself sometimes I have to force myself but it's just it, I just think of that feeling that I get literally as soon as I start working out and I'm pretty sure you guys will see it in this vlog the second I start sweating I don't know what it is the endorphins but I just feel so good and I can't stop and that is what personally helps me and I don't look at going to the gym as a chore I never have some days it is harder I won't lie to you but it's just the hardest part is just getting yourself there once you get into it it's the easiest fucking thing ever and you feel so good after that's what we're gonna do today I like to use a skin tint when I go to the gym I don't wear foundation anymore I think I've been using skin tints for a good like eight months these are the two that I like to use. This one is my current favorite. I'm wearing the number 9. And then the Laura Mercier, I am color Tawny. I like this one because this one is more lightweight. It has coverage, but it's not heavy coverage. Versus this one is a little bit heavier coverage if you are looking for that. So like if I'm breaking out, this one, like I said, is my current favorite. What we're now going to do is... 
I don't know why I can't do two things at the same time. What we're not going to do, if skin tint is not what you want to do and you want to wear foundation, go ahead and do it. What we're not going to do is make fun of other girls or people who just choose to wear foundation or makeup in general to the gym. And that's the biggest part for me is making sure I look good on the outside will help make me feel better about the process because there's nothing worse than trying to make yourself do something and you yourself you're thinking that you're ugly or you don't and that's the thing like it's just a mental thing even if in reality like in reality <laughs> in reality you still look good but it's just you and your head telling you that you don't look good and that's what is going to get you screw what anybody says if you do what you have to do to make yourself feel good so you can take the step to be the best version of yourself and to feel better so that's what we are doing i burnt my forehead when i was getting ready the past weekend so if you see that mark on my forehead just ignore that the next thing that i'm gonna do is take a concealer and i'm taking the nars soft matte concealer in caramel and i'm just gonna cover up my under eyes a little bit recovering i have not been getting the best sleep so i have a bit of dark circles which we will cover up just a little bit you know i already feel good because i'm like oh you know i don't look like a crackhead i don't look like i haven't slept in four days and I know someone will probably be looking at this like oh my god it's so bad for your skin oh my god you look exactly the same oh my god I'm not. listen let me live my life <laughs> let me do what I gotta do if you are the type of person that doesn't need to put concealer on that doesn't need to put foundation on doesn't doesn't need to put a cute set on do you boo is set my set my face with the Huda Beauty banana bread this little routine that I'm doing always gets me going especially if I'm not recording I'm playing music and that's another thing too. Music will always get you in a good mood. If you're feeling sad, put on some music, cry about it, don't cry about it, dance it out. And it's it, and it really doesn't matter. Like if you are putting stuff on your face before you go to the gym, if you have a good skincare routine afterwards, it really doesn't matter. Like it doesn't. I know some people are quick to be like, oh well you're doing it for other people. I'm going to my gym downstairs. There will most likely be nobody there. If there is, sure. But like, even if ladies, like if you go to the gym and you know your gym crush is there or somebody that you are like excited to see in the gym and you want to look extra good, why not? Like, I don't understand why people try to make other people feel bad for trying to look nice. Because in the end, that's motivation. Like, it really just depends on how, it really is how you look at things. Don't feel bad. If you're getting ready because your gym crush is gonna be there and you're gonna be working extra hard who cares stop trying stop focusing on what other people are saying focus on you and then my nails too because um, I switched them I literally did them before making this video and I don't know what it is recently about having red nails it just makes me feel so powerful sexy like just that girl and I remember I used to like never get anything outside of nudes and pinks and off white it's just something about having red nails it just makes me you know and they also say money attracts uh, and they also say red attracts money who wants to go to work not looking their best mm. and outside you know getting ready for the gym and stuff like that I like to journal how I'm feeling my goals things that I like to do that week and that's what helps me prepare myself for the upcoming week activities content creating and stuff like that for me making sure i'm also on top of my work schedule and things that i need to do because i'm the type of person there's no in between it's either i really focus buckle down and get everything done or i push it out and wait until last minute where that's like the absolute worst because that's when things are overdue I'm stressing myself out and then I push it, I cram everything out I was the type of person in school when I was younger where the same day that we would get homework I would do it that same night so I could have so much free time and I feel like that's why so many people ask me like how I'm able to have so much time to read and that's because I make sure I get everything done so I can have a lot of downtime to myself because that's what makes me feel good and being an introvert introverted 
Being an introverted person, that time for me means so much for me. And that can mean, you know, like I said, reading. It can be working out. Just that having peaceful time to myself where I don't have to talk to clients. I don't have to talk to my friends. I don't even have to talk to my partner. <laughs> I don't have to talk to anybody. It's just me, myself, and I. And I thrive in that space like you guys have no idea personally don't ask me how i'm able to like really focus that's just the type of person i am maybe it's the music but as soon as i set myself to a task and to do it i'm not standing up i'm not doing anything until it's done that's just the type of personality and fixation that i have so this is the outfit that i chose to wear very simple hoodie lululemon um leggings and a sports bra when you're on your fitness journey you're gonna have to go through a lot of trials and error and for me I know myself so much right now I'm in kind of like a negative coming out into a positive state I just know how my brain works as of right now the reason why I'm choosing to wear more of a comfier baggy outfit is because right now in my brain I'm telling myself that I'm fat I'm telling myself that I'm a blob for eating all the food and drinking all the alcohol but I know for a fact that the second I do my cardio and I work out, I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna feel like so much more confident and happier. You can choose your battles with yourself because literally the second that I do 15 minutes of cardio, I'm gonna look at myself in a mirror and I'm gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> and then like look back to this moment and know that I was just too much into my into my head But I'm just letting you know kind of like how my process in my brain works And it's just crazy because I just find like a lot of things that we go through in life not just in the gym It's just all in our head and I know I don't talk about it enough on my channel and I do find like this year I really want to talk about you know the mental aspect of being like on your fitness journey but I already know once I start working out I'm gonna feel good and then after I'm gonna want to take pictures I like in this moment you guys may look at it and be like oh you're not even bloated but for me I know my body when it's at its best functioning and because I drank this weekend didn't get that much sleep ate shitty food I know this is not how my body is supposed to feel. Once I take the step to get to where I was, which will only take literally a day, like it really doesn't take that long to feel that good, you know what I mean? You just gotta get back into what you were doing prior to that. Then I'm gonna do my hair. Try to be kind to yourself. I remember it's just a situational feeling is not going to last. But most importantly, that feeling, it is going to take longer and it may stay there if you choose and decide to not do anything about it. Working out may not be for you. That may mean making a cup of tea. That may mean going for going outside for a hot girl walk. That may mean hanging out and socializing with your friends, taking the day off, going for a spa treatment, spending time with your family. It looks different for everybody. So just as long as you are aware what helps you and knowing once you do that, you will feel better. That's just what you gotta do. Because working out, it's just, I don't gotta talk to anybody. Um, it's just a place where I can take out all my frustrations. It's just me versus me. There, I have full control of what I'm doing. I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. I have full control of what I'm doing. I, I already know, you know, scientifically proven, that working out makes you feel better. It's great for your mental health. During this time, listening while I'm doing my hair and putting it together, listening to music is also something that like really gets me going. Something that's telling you to shake your ass and you're hot and you know. And also for me, I listen to funk. I feel like it's like a hardcore version of EDM. The reason why I like it is because it's fast paced. It brings out like a certain type of energy. It's like anger and excuse me God for saying this, but it's also kind of like a God complex. But that's just the only way that I can describe it. And like nobody can with you nobody can like say anything to you type energy yeah 
This verse starts as my snipers hit their marks And your guards fall down from a rifle to the heart Like clap, clap, let them fall slow I know you had your fears, you can let them all go And most women are motivated Just did my first set We have two more sets to go But literally I already feel, even just from the warm up I already feel so good <laughs>
be for me tonight we'll do this with broccoli and rice this will be good for i think like tuesday wednesday and then we will do salmon broccoli and rice literally the same thing i go on rotation with my prep as of right now because it changes sometimes but right now it's salmon beef and steaks carbs is rice veggies is broccoli so i keep it very simple and i just like it that way like i can eat the same thing over and over again and i feel so content i'm able to build muscle while i'm losing weight then i got my extra protein drinks personally i really love these for them to cool off first never put your tupperware or packaged meals right into the fridge wait for them to cool off because it's not healthy <laughs> skincare so much so I'm just gonna I might just skip out on that but skincare is something that makes me feel really really good about my, myself and it's a little bit tedious like it literally takes me 10 minutes to do my skincare routine but it just feels like a task that's towards myself and it just makes me feel good you know and the same thing goes with like taking a shower because I know sometimes I know some of you like including myself sometimes getting up to just take a shower might be the biggest like um chore or you don't want to do when you're having like a depressive e episode or you're in the slump or like you know what i mean so just even if you can't do if you can't work out if you can't um do all these things then just taking something simple as taking a shower you know because for me it's working out it's showering my skincare routine making sure my space is clean um because especially my space because for me like if something is out of the way 
or not clean in general like I, my brain just can't function and i don't feel like myself so for me my space is a representation of what is going on the chaos and what is going on in my brain so it has to be clean and i always clean little by little every day and then do a deep clean on a sunday <laughs> literally when I wanted to be in bed by nine relax have time to read and edit and just fall asleep nicely with my sleepy time tea knocks me right out like after an hour 10 p.m. sleep time but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and always remember that that slump or a depressive episode or if you're just not feeling well it is only a temporary feeling and is here's your reminder to do things that make you feel better and make you feel happy and you know just don't have the victim mentality you know if you're feeling upset about something do something about it get up stop um yeah you know because god gives us the tools but he's not going to do everything for us you know and god god only helps those who help themselves and you give you get what you give and yeah anyways <laughs> so, yeah, i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys in my next vlog i